You have big eyes, small face. I like her. What's your WeChat? <laughs> I've been balding. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I got lost in your collarbone. Do like this. Like, yeah. I'm lost in your collarbone. <laughs> hate all my products rolling around so I'm gonna stick them into a bowl. Literally just in a bowl. <laughs> Tiffany's testing out our couches right now. She's what, going... Give it a score. How comfort? Mm. She said thumbs up. It's very comfortable. Oh, it's unexpected. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Unexpected? Wait till you try this one. Oh, Tiffany! You were making fun try of this, this triangle. Try this. Come, this come, come, come. No, like, Tiffany, come. you gotta try. Come on, go, go, go. Tiffany, come. You gotta. No, you gotta. Hey, yes. Feel better than the cloud couch. What happened? Oh, she said better than the cloud couch. And then just look at the room. Is this nice? Yeah, but I like that one. <laughs> That's so funny, she won't get up. She's just laying there, refuses to get up, okay? Because that's my husband's favorite spot. Guess what we're doing today? We're getting ready to go to a Chinese wedding. I have no makeup on, Tiffany's got no makeup on. We're gonna be putting on all of our makeup, getting ready. A few things that I'm nervous about, okay? So first thing, I wake up this morning and the first thing I hear out of my husband's mouth, because here's the thing, I like to make him lay down next to me when we wake up because I don't wanna, I don't wanna get up. But then if he gets up, then I have FOMO. I have fear of missing out, so then I gotta get up. So he's laying there, he's on his phone, and he turns to me and goes, there's a flood warning. Oh tonight. yeah, did you know? Flood warning. Flood. Can you wanna sit back a little? Yeah. <laughs> he said. Hello? <laughs> yeah, there's a flood warning. There's a wind, rain, flood warning in Queens tonight, the exact time of the wedding, and I, I think that means good luck. Right? Because you're washing away the past relationships and stress and then, you know, after a new rain, you're flooded with money and success oh. and love. Oh. You, should, you should really say yes. that tonight. Yeah. Yes. And then you know it's washing away the past Bruh. and you're starting That's fresh. The MC should oh, I should be like, hey guys, let, <laughs> let Stephanie do it. Let Stephanie host. See today is the weather. <laughs> so that's the first thing we're a little concerned about, okay? And then the second thing that I'm a little bit concerned about is um Tiffany and I's outfits are like we look like we're gonna be bank tellers. I don't know. <laughs> we really could not find an outfit. It was so rushed, we look like we work at Chase Bank. JP Morgan. You can take out a Morgan from us tonight at the flood. <laughs> That's a big problem. But you know what problem I am not facing? I'm gonna go up in there and I'm just gonna be speaking Mandarin to people. I'm meeting like hundreds of his side of the family and I'm not even sweating today. Not even a tiny bit because I've been using Rosetta Stone. Let me explain. I have been trying to learn Mandarin for the past 10 years that we've been together and every single time I try to learn, I spend like hundreds, if not probably thousands in the past 10 years trying to purchase books, trying to purchase these online masterclasses. None of them worked because they're so boring. I feel like I'm in school. Why would I keep doing it? I've got a million other things. I actually have responsibilities sometimes. You know, I'd rather do that. But with Rosetta Stone, they make it so interesting. I feel like maybe I am only experiencing this. I don't know how many of you guys are, but I have nieces and they're learning how to talk and they're so excited. It's not just about learning a new language for the babies. They're genuinely, their brains are so stimulated. That's how Rosetta Stone feels. Everything is using visual audio to make it like you're learning your first language ever. They also have a voice recognition tool, which is amazing. So you know when you're learning a new word and you think that you're pronouncing it right, but then you go and meet someone who's a native speaker of that language and then you say it and they're like, I don't know what you're talking about, lady. Rosetta Stone has this thing where they will actually give you feedback on your pronunciation. The reason I'm so obsessed with this is because my grandma had Alzheimer's. I'm still young, I'm still young. But for brain health, learning a new language is like one of the best things you can do. But also, for career opportunities, love opportunities. That's a really good one. Right, love, love opportunities. opportunities. <laughs> like you wanna go and get you a lago? Okay, <laughs> you wanna go and get you an opa? <laughs> you can get Rosetta Stone. 
I didn't go there. With Rosetta Stone, they have a lifetime subscription. And I don't even really want to call it a subscription because you just purchase it now and you have access to all 25 of their languages, not even just one or two, but all of their languages for the rest of your life. This is amazing because let's say you learned Korean on Rosetta Stone and you're like, that was so easy. I want to learn another one. I want to be trilingual. Then you can learn Chinese on Rosetta Stone and you don't have to like keep purchasing different languages. It's pretty fantastic. And right now it's even more fantastic because you can get Rosetta Stone's lifetime subscription for over 60% off. This is like the best offer ever. For just $149, you get access to all of Rosetta Stone's 25 different languages for the rest of your life. That's insane. I don't even think that's like one or two tutoring sessions if you were to get like a language expert to tutor you. Make sure to click the link in the description, check out Rosetta Stone, and thank you Rosetta Stone for sponsoring today's video, and let's... Let's get ready, my fellow bank teller. Come on. <laughs> let's go sell some insurance tonight. <laughs> some flood insurance. What I like to do is when I have a new occasion coming up, I like to open a new compact. <gasps> I do a new sponge. <laughs> Okay, if my thing has only been used a few times, but mine's like pretty empty right now So I open a new compact instead of using up the last but I will yeah. use up the last the next time I do my makeup Wait, so for special it's like, time you use a special makeup? It's like me yeah. well to make sure it's perfect. Yeah, so I get all the messed up or <laughs> It's not even your wedding <laughs> I know, but we Good. still kind of sell some insurance you know? <laughs> Are you guys ready for this fresh compact? Oh. And do you use that? Yeah, I do. <laughs> so it's just like yogurt. Do you lick your yogurt? Yeah. <laughs> you or do yogurt. you give it to him to lick? I lick it. I'm not going to share that with him. That's the <laughs> best part. Jinghua. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's jinghua? It's just like essence. <laughs> it's the essence of yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> the essence of jinghua. How do I say of? I the jinghua. If you say I the jinghua, right? Uh -huh. Love's essence. Basically, you're describing someone's offspring. Ah! I the Jinghua Zai Nali. That's not where I asked the groom and bride. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I the Jinghua Zai Nali. And then they're gonna respond, and I'm gonna say, shh. Nali Nali. When someone gives you a compliment, you say, Nali Nali. Ah! Like, no, no, not at all. Not uh -huh. That's so good. Someone's like, oh my god, Stephanie. You have big eyes, small face. I like her. What's your WeChat? Nani, nani. <laughs> that is, that's perfect. So are you guys doing anything different today? Or Tellers. maybe do like a traditional Chinese cherry lips. Oh, cherry red lips. You know, I don't look good with red lips. I don't know why. What? I only look good with summer pink lips. You look good with your natural lips. Oh. Nani, nani. <laughs> <laughs> nani, nani, actually, oh it's it's kind of show off. It's not like, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How does Paul say LeBron James's name? He is obsessed with LeBron James, and one of his key points about Le LeBron James is LeBron James does not cheat on his wife. And he's like, a good character. Not only is he good at basketball, a family man. So, Tiffany, let, okay. me, show you, let me show you a video. <laughs> when we saw this video, we're like, that's Paul. We thought <laughs> Tiffany, have you seen this guy? Are you waiting English student Zi Chen? Yeah, my name is uh, Zi Chen. But uh, you can call me LeBron. Sorry, what? LeBron, like a LeBron James. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> Paul say it right. Okay. Paul doesn't say LeBron James. No! <laughs> Wait, why did you call it LeBron James? Because uh? Chinese is James. <laughs> LeBron James. Uh. Are you listening? <laughs> I'm so sorry, I got lost in your collarbone. <laughs> Is that a Chinese saying? No, yeah, that's also oh, a Korean thing. Color bone is This what? bone, Koreans love this bone. Chinese yeah. Too. So yeah. they say that, I'm, I'm lost in your collar bone? No, I mean, they would not say that, but they're into it. And they try to ask you how Let much... Let me see. I don't have a collar bone, really. Wait, Shut what up. happened? No, she doesn't. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> Do this. Do like this. Like, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I'm lost in your collar <laughs> Look, look, watch oh, Tiffany. Oh, I'm so sorry. You literally have an exam tomorrow. I will be okay. Your big earlobes will bring me good fortune. <laughs> oh my god! If someone talks to me like that, but you walk away. Alright, continue, you guys. I'm here. I'm gonna be 
honest with you. How does your show get stuck in there? That's what I want to know right now. That's insane. We gotta be serious. We gotta like genuinely get some work done. Okay, I'm fixing up my hairline right now. I've been balding. And that's okay, because there's such a thing as makeup. And one day if I go completely bald, I'm gonna rock it. Apparently a lot of K-pop idols do this, so you're not balding. You just don't have a hair powder puff. You can get these at Olive Young. I use the Etude. Oh, I should tell you guys everything I use. For my compact, I use the Romand Water Cushion, Bare Water Cushion in Porcelain. Let me tell you, if you want coverage, this is not it. Then I use the Etude Pang Pang Hair Shadow in Black for my hairline. The video was showing me this doying, okay, of how girls are doing nose contour these days to make it look natural. In 10 years, we're all gonna have really bad eyesight because this is what they're doing. So they said, this is how you find the natural shadows of your face. So you look like this, right? So then you can kind of see in the mirror I can't fucking see I'm anything. so confused. You're looking for the shadow. Yes, the and natural then what you, shadow. What are you doing? And they said it turns out so natural. And then Tiffany and I were like, oh, we should do that. We should do that, right? We keep watching it. It is like the most aggressive nose contour we've ever seen in our life. So clearly it does not come out natural. I don't know who said that. But they're lying. So this is the contour palette that I'm using. It's the Etude. I've converted all to Korean makeup just because it's so light. Everything is so light and I really like it. And I just... Where do you get your Korean makeup? From Olive Young. Are you interested or are you just trying to make conversation with me? Are you just trying to be interested. interested in me? <laughs> Tiffany's over there doing her makeup and she said, Where does, is he Chinese? Where does he live? And we're like, why do you want to know? <laughs> just kidding. Paul, if you're watching, it's, it's LeBron James. So. Did you know that idols and influencers in Asia are getting ear surgery? A lot of influencers in Asia get ear surgery to make their ears come out more because it makes your face look smaller. So they have a tape you can put behind their special tape and to bring out your ear. <laughs> like Let me see. No, no, no. You look like it's a monkey. <laughs> what did she say? Papa is <laughs> It sounds like daddy something something. <laughs> Okay, so I'm kind of aggressively contouring today. Me too. Because I it's think- It's getting heavier and heavier. Me too. I don't know if it's because it's getting darker and darker in this room, but it just keeps getting heavier. Oh my okay, god. Yeah. It's the worst makeup. Me too. The makeup is it's not, not makeup well. It's not going well. It's not. But you know, maybe our makeup isn't going well, so the bride can be shining brighter. <laughs> Guys, I should MC this fucking wedding. I don't even know the bride like that. I don't even know the groom. They don't yeah. even know whose wedding this is. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't know whose wedding this is. It's my mom and dad. <laughs> uh, it's Tiffany's wedding. Boy. Yeah, and I'm doing my own makeup. Hey, I did my own makeup at my wedding. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she oh, said, yeah. oh yeah, sh it. <laughs> Well, speaking of weddings, oh yeah, Tiffany's wedding. So this year, Tiffany's gonna get married in like, geez, like summertime. Yeah, maybe Hopefully. like in like five months. Okay, this is how she went to China. She was like, guys, I literally don't care about my wedding. I genuinely don't care. I want a chill ass wedding in Atlanta and in China. It's gonna be so chill. No one, I literally don't care. Like Tiffany is the same as me, where we're like, we just don't care. She comes back and she goes, I'm so screwed. I'm so screwed. Paul's family are gonna invite hundreds of people and it's gonna be a massive grand wedding. So we're all going to China. We're all going to China? Yeah, what? and then Sophie and Mia. And they're gonna be the little flower oh. girls. So okay. today's wedding is gonna be like a preview of Tiffany's wedding. A preview? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. This is the wedding that um his parents really wanted us to have. <laughs> but we went to Switzerland instead. What? Tiffany, what blush do you use? I don't really use blush. I use eyeshadow too. If I need it, I use eyeshadow. Why don't you use blush? It doesn't really look what? good on me. Okay, I use two blushes. This is the Romand. This is Better Than Cheek number two. And this one I put on my temples. So apparently, I'm trying to do this new thing. I don't know if it's working. I'm not great at makeup, so don't take my advice. But a lot of Korean makeup artists, they don't contour on the top of their face with bronzer anymore. So they said they use like a darker, muter color of blush to contour. And then they'll do light blush in the center. I guess we'll see if it works. We ordered like three different wedding cards. None of them came. They keep canceling on us and we don't have time to go grab one. So I'm going to write it on a piece of paper. But I'm going to make it the most eloquent, beautiful wedding wishes that you've ever heard. Anyway, I'm asking my husband to show Tiffany some of the Michael James. LeBron James. Michael James. Michael James. Michael James. Michael James. Michael James. 
Tree. Have you seen this, Tiffany? <laughs> oh, this one's so good. What's up, Michael? I told you, be careful, huh? You have big eyes, small face. I like her. What's your WeChat? <laughs> You got big eyes, small face, I like her. <laughs> we chat, we chat. Hi, are you my new international student, Zi Chen? Oh yeah, my name is Zi Chen, but you can call me LeBron. Sorry, what? Like LeBron James. <laughs> are you listening? Yeah, sorry, oh, I got lost in your collarbone. <laughs> okay, so when you're writing long sentences, you want to make sure that... Michael, girl, I'll me. you. <laughs> <laughs> And then Michael, bro, let me tell you, man, in front of me there is a, like a super cute girl. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> you literally have an exam tomorrow. Shh. Get your love will bring me good fortune. <laughs> Tiffany, be honest. Tiffany, be honest. Was that you? Was that you in the car? <laughs> she said her name is Tiffany. Really, you never met a guy like this? Like, not you, Dave, but maybe someone else. Yeah, can you, do you see people like this? No. <laughs> he probably, I'm not attracted to them. No. This is know. honestly better than some of the Korean fuck boys. Oh, did they? The hear? Korean fuck boys are worse. They're obsessed with like oppa culture. So they just all sit there trying to look all cool, like. They always talk in third person. <laughs> and I'm like, bro, you're fucking two months older than me. Get out of here with oppa this, oppa that. Not me raging all of a sudden. This has nothing to do with me. <laughs> They just spent 30 minutes consoling me that this is not clownery and it's high fashion. I don't know if I should believe them. So I'm wearing my Frankie Shop pleated plants. Pleated plants. Pleated plants. An Anushka top that I got on sale and a Frankie Shop oversized coat. Do you like this detail or I love what? That. It has an eye. Did you see the eye? No. Come close, see the eye. It's an eyeball. Oh, that's sick. Jack is looking sharp. We got the way way looking sharp, looking official. I'm wearing white, so. It's a little too tight. It's supposed to be cool, but then it makes me look like I'm going to work. It's cute. It's, it's cute. cute. It's cute. <laughs> How may I help you? <laughs> I grossly overestimated my stamina. Jack and Wei Wei and Jack's girlfriend. How long have you guys slept last night? Like an hour? We slept an hour this afternoon. Ah, and I'm over here complaining because I've been awake since like 5:30 in the morning, guys. Hi. Hi, I'm back. No. I think we're going up. There's the cute little Christmas tree. And all our empty worlds. Behind the scene, they're picking up the pieces of all broken hearts. But I believe in coloring the world. Gotta holler to be heard. By the way, for people who don't know, it's actually Steven's wedding. Oh, yeah. You guys met him at Tug of War. Tug of War. <laughs> Mr. Tug of War. So that's also my uh, nephew. nephew. Whoa! 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 Guys, I feel like I'm at like a game show. And there's like, I feel like this is like, an, I don't know what's going on right now. We've been called up to the stage like five times and the photographer is so aggressive. I feel like I was verbally abused. <laughs> like, he just, he told us to go. And I was like, Like there's an MC, right? This MC is so aggressive. He turns to us and he goes, Hey, you groomsmen, stand up. He's telling the groomsmen to come on stage for a photo. Yeah. Not that we had plans to, but the MC just said dinner time starts at 8. Y'all can't leave early. And he's pointing at people. The door. Yeah, he really was aggressive. I will say that. Also, wait, wait. Why does it look like you've already been through some <laughs> shit? What's wrong? What's wrong? <laughs> right? By the way, this is Jay Chow, everyone. Okay, honey, you want to try no, I want to listen to music. Now we would like to have the president of an association. What a show! A congratulations speech. So Tiffany is requesting Stephanie do this performance right now. Okay, can you pay attention and learn? You 
walked into the room Think I knew right then that it was always you Something in your eyes, it was all so true Every step I took, they all led to you We were young and running free We were never meant to be But I could not see you go Cause of you Don't wanna waste another minute Without you And I will love you in the dark And if you ever Just hold on.